over this past weekend, Team J-Lo has been dragging Ben Affleck, and now they're trying to blame him for that monstrous documentary. Uh-uh, not on my watch. Let's drop the receipts. Welcome to Popcorn Planet. I am Andy Signor. Now, look, I think like many of you, you were probably breathing a sigh of relief when Jennifer Lopez finally filed for a divorce from Ben Affleck. Yes, they tried. They tried for years, but... Finally, it was over. I think we all were like, okay, it's starting to wind down. But then why has J-Lo, for the past several days, continued to drop exclusive sources to People Magazine from her people saying that, you know, trying to vilify Ben. It's all been his fault. She tried to make him a family man. Very important exclusive source. Moods, he had big mood swings, highs and lows. It contributed to divorce. Exclusive source. He has not been in touch with J-Lo's kids. Exclusive source. And now Ben Affleck had control over documentary about marriage. It was his idea. Source Close says that Affleck had creative control over Lopez's prime documentary. Now, let's be fair. Technically, yes, his artist equity company was the production company behind it, but he was not the director. He was not a producer. He was featured. And yes, he's her husband. He had some creative say in it that there's no doubt that he had some creative say in it. But this idea that anybody has creative say over JLo is laughable to me. But that's what the fans are doing out there. In fact, the, the fans are going crazy. Fans are coming at me now out of nowhere saying that I'm on Ben Affleck's PR payroll. They're getting really nasty as you get. I, I engage with some of them. Alcoholic, drug essay, or wouldn't convince me otherwise, blah, blah, blah. He'll probably overdose soon. He's methane with a known cra like, This is ugly out there. It is so ugly out there. Now they're tying into AH fans. It's looking like J-Lo and Amber Hate are, are, are now behind uh, Blake Lively too. Men, Johnny, Ben, Justin, you will all crumble. Uh, it, it is intense out there. So I, wanna, I wanted to focus on this to a first quick because there's actually a lot to break down on what's happening here. And now I know we're going to get to Ben's new love, et cetera. We're going to talk about all of it. But I got I take umbrage with this. I take massive umbrage with this. Uh, and I wasn't the only one. Yasser Ali was out there. What an absolute lie. Editors of people should be ashamed of themselves for being used in such a way by Jennifer Lopez and her team. This guy, uh, community noted, People Magazine is revealing the truth. Ben Affleck's Artist Equity produced the documentary and Jennifer Lopez herself confirmed it was his idea. That doesn't mean he had control over it. He had control over it and it was all his idea. No, I, I, I completely disagree with this take. I wasn't the only one. Showbiz 401 also coming in, uh, calling out the fact that, uh, ha, People Magazine should really separate their J-Lo as the victim stories by at least a day or two. Today, they've got two up on their homepage. I noticed this too, that according to them, Ben Affleck is the devil. In one uh, story, he has mood changes that were too much. Uh, in another story, an even better spin of gold, Affleck had total control. See, they read it that way too, of Lopez's failed documentary. Suddenly, it's his fault the doc tanked, and that's what caused the mega famous couple to fail quits and obviously caused all the backlash against J-Lo. Excuse me. People is in the grip of publicists. There it is. They said it. I know who they are, but any quote on this subject is good one for people, even if it's just publicists giving it. Lopez is obviously in big spin here. She's lost it. The debate, the, the album, her film were duds. Her concert tour was canceled. Lack of ticket sales. Affleck, meanwhile, did very well with air. His film continues. Uh, no one knows what happened, so you can't blame anyone. That's, that's, that's the reality here. But Lopez loves attention. She can't stop posting selfies and paparazzi, mostly tipped by her. She stays in the public eye. Even today, she's promoting new pictures on Instagram. There's never a respite. She's in Europe. She's in the Hamptons, Manhattan, back in LA. We know more about Lopez every day than we do our own families slow weekend news is ben seeing lunch with rfk we'll get there in a second but i want to reiterate this because we're going to talk about this she was out with robert kennedy's uh, addict daughter that place that they got photographed is a vault of secrecy so someone called it in i wonder who it's more than likely that the lunch partners were bonding over aa rather than having a tryst in public uh, and again, the politics of it also makes sense. What happened to People Magazine? Since being jettisoned from Time Inc., they've gone the way of Us Magazine. The original editors are rolling in their graves. So it's not just me calling this out. Experts out there, insiders are calling it. So let's really look at this. Ben Affleck had control over the documentary. It was his idea. To me, as I read this headline, while they're fine, technically, he had some control. He did have some control, but he had control over J-Lo? 
He had control over everybody. That's a lie. This idea that it was his idea. I'm going to also challenge that this was a, a lie. She had every opportunity to chime in, to be involved, and approved every step of the way. They're also in there saying that he was the driving force behind the documentary. He was the one who had control pretty much. He pretty much was in favor of the... He was very much in favor of the project and he was a driving force for it to do the movie and the album. And then he insisted on the documentary where it looked like he was hesitant and almost surprised by it. But that was a false narrative. The documentary was Ben's idea for his company. Jennifer's team didn't want to do it since she was focused on the album and Amazon original project. We're going to show some videos to, to combat this, but he was very supportive of the movie and the album. He knew every step of the way what she was doing. He loved the movie and album, but when you look at the doc, it looks like he's surprised by it and not signing up for it. He was playing the role of playing the regular guy. And meanwhile, he was the engine behind the back in the back of it. He definitely took it away from the director so he could have the narrative he wanted out there. That's pretty defamatory. It's confusing because he was so involved and so proud of Jennifer because she really got in there. But in the doc, it looks like he was surprised. You're making an album about a relationship. Look, him being uncomfortable about her doing that can also exist while wanting to support her wife do what she wants to do. Two things can both exist. And I genuinely believe that's what happened here. But that community note and everyone's saying, oh no, JLo, this is true. Let's watch the source. And then I'm going to play some clips of my own. Here is JLo at a screening with the actual crew, but with the people actually behind the documentary there with her. But she's asked about it. Did you hesitate at all? It wasn't my idea, right? It wasn't my idea to photograph every single moment of doing this. Um... It wasn't her idea to photograph every single idea of this. And I'm going to, spoiler alert, about the negative parts of making this, about the parts of nobody wanted it. Nobody was financing it. She doesn't like to make herself look bad. And I believe she was hesitant about that. I do. And I do believe it was Ben's idea to be like, dude, don't just film a making of, which I'm sure they were doing. I'm sure she was documenting the making of the movie, but she was going to make some puff piece rather than show warts and all. And clearly Ben's like, dude, you're filming this film, everything that's going to be more investing. And guess what? That might sell better. Spoiler alert. That's what got it sold. Uh, we'll get there in a second, but uh, let's keep watching. You know, to be honest, when we, we started making the film, it just kind of got more and more bizarre. And my husband, who had a front seat to the whole thing, really was the one who was like, we should be capturing this. And he bought on this amazing team. And, uh, and that's kind of how it happened. Did and you hesitate at all? Nope. Uh so he brought on this team to capture it all. Notice she didn't say he directed it. He was editing it. He was the driving force behind it. No, she didn't say any of that. He had full control over it. No, he had creative. Con I don't hear her saying any of that. I say he noticed that I was struggling, that this movie was hard to make. Let's make sure we're documenting it because again, that's a kind of story that might get sold rather than your overly done over a uh, zealous uh, music video that no one really cared about. Um I mean, I feel like along the way I was hesitant, you know, it's like a stutter stepping the whole way, knowing that I wanted to go forward, knowing that I had this tremendous impulse and kind of like drive to, to say something like I had not wanted to say in my whole life, you know, just in my, in being an artist and even in growing up, like I've never wanted to kind of share something in that way, the way I did when I got back together with Ben and we started making this album and I have some of my team here who made the album with us. She never wanted to tell a story more than when she got back together then and made this album. And then she wanted to make this movie. She wanted to tell that story. She actually wanted to make a music video, it seems. And then it turned into this idea, as we learned from Dave, the director and everything. And it turned into this strung out music video with a narrative connecting it. Don't call it a music video. It's a glorified music video. That's the story she was willing to tell that she financed, that she made it. This is what I'm getting this done no matter what. Ben noticed that. Ben wanted to help um, her. But it was just very clear to me that I had to, one, make this music because it was just kind of very organically pouring out of me what um, I wanted to say about love and what I had discovered and what I wanted to share. And then in that kind of revisiting the 20 years in between was inevitable. And so as that started happening, you know, you start realizing there's so much more to the story to tell than just the music and just the movie. There's even more than that, right? And so, and it became kind of a quest of like, 
I have to do this. I have to get this done. So he he noticed as the husband, the supportive Academy Award winning storyteller slash husband, you're on a quest, my love. You need to show people this quest you're on because it's going to make people more invested in you. And yes, yeah, she funded like, it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Who's paying for this? Me. I guess me. She decided in a very bullish way to finance this project. Making a movie with your own money is the most famous cardinal sin in Hollywood. Now, here, there he is, quoted, putting it out there, defending his wife's vision of how important this vision is. That's what this was all about. So now let's go to this making of that a lot of people are showing. He financed the documentary. He had control over editing. Ben had decided as the movie was falling apart and Jen was had decided to finance it herself, that this was crazy, that we had to capture this. Ben says to me, why are you so stressed like this? I said, I'm not just financing it. I'm writing it, dancing in it, singing in it. Oh, God. That's why he's noticing all the drama and he's like, this is going to sell. If you want to make this project, that's what you got to focus on. So let's reiterate here from another piece of that. The first project. documentary um, out of Artist Equity, which is Ben's company. And having his support was, in was incredible. He was so generous to help her with with this project and he was so prescient so smart to um finance a documentary on the making of it ben was to finance a documentary that doesn't mean he himself actually financed it it means he helped it get it financed it does but his company artist equity has a lot of other people and investors who help get their projects in this idea that ben affleck pays for everything he does in his company like he paid for air and he had full control over air that's a joke all the projects listed on his website, just because they're his production company, doesn't mean he has full creative control and everything else. He's got investors and sponsors and people too. The, he hires a crew to make it. At the end of the day, J-Lo had control over whether this was released or even shopped. To say that otherwise is, is ridiculous. He's really trying to move mountains to make this happen for his wife. This is the first. He was trying to move mountains to make this happen for his wife. The story that you just heard her, how important it is that she tell it, he was trying to make mountains. Why? That people wanted to buy the documentary before the movie was even greenlit. It's when she had trouble selling the movie, She was uh, Ben was getting all kinds of hits that, that, that people wanted to buy the documentary before the movie was even greenlit. Did you hear that? The studios didn't care about the movie. They passed. As they're filming it, they passed. Nobody wanted it. The documentary, though, they're like, well, what, tell us more about this documentary. So this was clearly packaged. He smartly was like, look, you're not getting this funded. Don't lose your money. Let's film a little documentary. It's so important. We'll put it together, whatever. Uh, I'll get you a, a crew. You approve it. We'll get it. You'll get it done. They'll buy them both. Sell it together. Have the little extra piece be there to get your vision out. It's going to show how, how much you believe in this. Do you believe in this? How is that he had full control? He edited it. He did a fight. This is ridiculous. I, I mean, what do you guys think? I want to end you with this comment because I think he's doing what she taught him. Here's Ben Affleck and the Hollywood Reporter. And the only reason I remember this is because uh, I think because they talked about J-Lo and I was like, oh, I, I want to hear more because they didn't. Ben doesn't open up about things. He's very private. And this piece was really well done. And in this piece, he specifically talks about how good J-Lo is. My wife, why aren't you on Instagram? My wife's a genius at that. I don't know if there's anything and anybody who understands Instagram better other than her. In fact, she gave me a talk this morning before this interview. She thinks that because of experiences that I've had, I've become very guarded. And she's right. I view these things as landmines, where uh, if you say one wrong thing, your career might be over. I had a really painful experience where I did an interview where I was really vulnerable and the entire pickup was something that was not right. It was the opposite. He's talking about the Howard Stern interview where it seemed like he was blaming Jennifer Garner for his alcoholism. Go watch the full interview. It, that, it was such an unfair uh, you know, turn into, it wasn't that at all. He says, I don't blame, he, he apologized. He reiterated again here after already doing it before. I don't blame my ex-wife for my alcoholism. So yeah, it's hard because of those experiences where they take them out of context. He doesn't like the press. But anyway, Jennifer tells me today, relax, be yourself, have fun. You're actually a fun guy who is real and genuine and you just seem so serious. Do I seem serious? But as in many ways, she's right. And she loves me. She's looking out for me. She's trying to help me. So it's like, maybe I ought to effing listen to her. When I read that, and now I'm speculating a bit, to me, that feels like exact advice that he tried to give back to her when she was struggling on her own movie, saying, you're too much of a diva. Show the, show the fight. 
show what I see and how, what I love. This idea that he, it was his idea he had control. What a mean spin. This thing was clearly a joint effort, if anything, of them trying to get her vision out there, which Ben Affleck is all about, and that's what artist equity is about. Look, I'm not here to simp for Ben Affleck. I don't, the guy's not a perfect human being. I don't like all of his movies. It's clear he hasn't always been the nicest person. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, to spin this bad relationship that went awry into it's all his fault is an awful look, J-Lo. So Team J-Lo, why do you keep letting your sources go out and try to vilify him? Move on. Move on. I don't think Ben's perfect. Clearly he's not. Uh, but to go out there and blame his his struggles, his addictions, like these people are doing, it is sickening. He's going to overdose. He's an addict, blah, blah, blah. These people out there are horrible. He love-bombed her and gaslighted her. That's what narcissists do to their victims. Oh, my God. People who overuse that term because two megalomaniac celebrities broke up. Like, that's absurd to say J-Lo's not a narcissist, but Ben Affleck is a narcissist. Oh, my God. Get over yourself, J-Lo fans, and stop actually saying things that's going to affect real victims because you're making these words mean nothing. J-Lo is not a victim here. I don't think Ben Affleck's honestly a victim here either, but he is getting overly smeared by J-Lo's camp. When J-Lo was getting smeared, it was by TikTok because of her own stuff out there, because of her own behaviors, because she doesn't tip people, because of stuff that was really coming to light. Fix all that. Be nicer out there. Quit being such a diva. Take your own words of advice and just be nice. I don't believe this for a second. What do you think? Do you really believe Ben Affleck was in full creative control, stealing it from the editors, etc.? Tell me down below. In the meanwhile, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like, uh, hit the hit the alert so you get notified. Then hit the like when you get notified. Smash the comments. Leave the the likes. Tell us what you think. We got a lot more to talk about regarding this and more. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching here on Popcorn Planet.